Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Techopia Live. I am Craig Lord, your host and editor of Techopia. Today, we are talking to Arigo, uh, the makers of this cool pod behind us. And I've got Chris Keefe here. You are the vice president of autonomous programs. That's right, Keith. Chris, uh, and so let's talk a little bit about uh, what, what, what Argo is trying to do. I, I believe the, the phrase that you use is owning the, the first and last mile of, of autonomous vehicles. Yeah. Can you kind of talk a little bit about what that uh, actually refers to and, and how this pod is going to help people with that mile? So there's two different types of ways we look at autonomous vehicles. We look at the one that most of the public is familiar with, or the, the outward facing version, which is, oh, we're on the freeway, we're driving from you know, the airport to you know, grandma's house in, in full autonomy. What first and last mile is, and what we specialize in, is um, say you go to the airport and you park your car, and you, wanna, you don't wanna wait for a bus. You, you hail one of these pods, and it brings you to the terminal, so you don't have to spend a long time outside. Or, you know, say you're at a stadium situation, say like in Canadian Tire Centers here. It's very cold, hockey, winter. Um, you take a pod from where you park your car to the stadium, so you don't have to endure the, the harsh Ottawa winter for that 10, 15 minute walk, depending on where you park. So the first and last mile is the, either the first mile or so of your journey or the last mile, you know, uh, amusement parks, uh, community uh, centers or retirement communities uh, of the like, or industrial parks. We've worked with a lot of tech parks uh, around the world where uh, people just need to move from one side of the tech park to the other. There's not necessarily a, an effective transit system for that, and the walks are generally too long for something uh, of that nature. And then given, you know, again, weather or climate, you, you want to be in one of these. And, and that's what we're really trying to uh, make sure it's ubiquitous throughout uh, all those types of uh, potential uh, you know, scenarios. Uh, and you talk about weather and climate, that's really interesting uh, because you just joined Arigo a couple months ago, joining from uh, about 20 years in Hollywood as a producer there. Uh, and we were talking a little bit before we started, but uh, Hollywood movies have really informed our interpretations of what autonomous vehicles can and might do. Can you maybe talk a little bit about how your background really suits you to be in a, in a role with Arigo? I became involved with Arigo uh, through a, a robotics project that uh, RDM, our parent company, was doing. And I was around the autonomous vehicles, you know, for years in England. And so um, it just became a logical step in terms of my interest. And my interest, uh, uh, growing up in Michigan, was automotive because I grew up building uh, uh, engines and placing transmissions in vehicles and muscle cars when I was younger. But one of the things that really interests me in this industry, and probably a lot of people didn't even know it, is you know you look back to your childhood, and, and there's so many creative ways that Hollywood produces tech before it actually is a thing, and one of those is like Total Recall, you know, the Johnny Cab that you see pick up you know Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, in the movie, and it takes him to different locations with this creepy driver. Um, and so that's kind of, I think, one of the things that leads, you know, tech in the right direction is somewhere decades ago uh, creates that image and then now that the technology is available, we can create these wonderful uh, uh, machines or vehicles to uh, make life better, easier and safer for the average, uh, you know, person uh, in, in whatever community they may be in. And uh, so, uh, as you mentioned, Argo is, is from England, it's a UK firm, and, and recently came to Ottawa uh, just earlier this spring. Can you talk a little bit about what the work uh, in Ottawa, what's happening here for Argo, and, and why was this city, uh, uh, what, which is be trying to become an autonomous vehicle hub, you know, why Ottawa, what, what was so attractive there, and, and what's going on here? Well, as we've done our research around the world, we have offices in Australia, Houston, Texas, of course, England. Um, you're looking for the, the next hotbed of technology and, of course, talent that surrounds the industry. And Canada specifically, and then more specifically, Ottawa, is really hyper-tuned to uh, the autonomous uh, industry and technology. And they're really throwing... Um, all their resources from a governmental level all the way down to the private sector to be one of the top uh, hubs in the world for it. And as we've investigated the process, their goal is to be a top three in the world. 
And so we visited, uh, met with um, government officials, people here at Invest Ottawa, and then the local tech companies, uh, you know, like your QNX and, and, and so forth. And you find out real quick that this is going to be one of the major spaces in autonomy. And also, we wanted to also get into testing that we can't necessarily do in, say, England or Houston, Texas or Australia. And that has to do around weather. You know, that's one of the pieces that is becoming, um, it's one of the pieces that is is making itself obvious that weather conditions that are less than ideal, whether it's sleet, snow, freezing rain, that we have to contend with, um, just like you would in, in any other vehicle. So we, we really think that this is the place to do it, um, both from a uh, you know, weather perspective and then, you know, I don't know if you heard this before, but Canadians are like the nicest, most friendly people on the planet, and they're just so helpful, and everything that you, you do here is just a wonderful experience. Uh, thank you. Uh, so yeah, uh, obviously the, the weather is, is actually, a lot of people have said, a, a bonus for tech companies testing here. There are security companies out in CARP that are testing their technology and actually they can, they can withstand the weather here. So it's, it's great to, to hear how uh, our sometimes inclement weather can actually be an advantage for tech companies like Arigo. Uh, and this is going to be your first winter in Ottawa. So um, best of luck to you, Chris. I want to thank you very much for joining us on Techopia Live today. Uh, before we take off, I just want to take a quick moment to thank some of our Techopia champions that uh, without whom this show would not be possible. Starting with Number Crunch, offering virtual CFO services for SaaS firms. There's Pearly Robertson, Hill and McDougall, a leader in business and tech law. We've also got TD Bank, which is offering specialized programs for tech firms. There's the University of Ottawa Engineering Department, creating the next generation of technical talent. And Stratford Managers, which is offering services to scale up your tech venture. I want to remind you, of course, that Techopia is not just this fantastic show. We've also got daily articles on obj.ca slash techopia. You can check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Techopia OTT. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please leave us a like and a comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon if you'd like to get more content from Techopia as we go. I've been Craig Lord, and I want to thank you again for joining us for Techopia Live. We'll see you next week.